The following segment is sponsored by Optum Utah and the American Heart Association. Flu season is just around the corner and staying healthy has never been more important. Dr. Skylar Wynn is here with tips to help you fight the flu. Doctor, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Re ready or not, flu season is here. What makes the flu particularly dangerous this time of year? Yes, um, most often it is just something that's highly contagious and mm -hmm. people can get it quite easily. And for a certain group of people, it can be something that can cause a lot of complication mm -hmm. and sometimes can be life threatening as well. Okay, so what should people be looking for to identify if they have the flu? Because sometimes it's like, do I have the flu? Do I have a cold? Do I have COVID? What yeah. do I have? Right, it can be a little bit uh, com complicated sometimes mm -hmm. to kind of know what you get. But for the most part, I would say the flu will give you more significant and severe symptom than just okay. a regular cold. And so you might feel like, just really tired, have a lot of muscle ache, okay. um, have a high fever, chill, shortness of breath, a lot of different things. But generally speaking, I'd like to think of it as the, f the cold on steroids. Okay, <laughs> a cold on steroids. <laughs> right. Talk to us about the benefit of getting the flu shot, the vaccinated yes. early, especially before the end of October. Yes, I think it's important most often because if you're proactive about it, your mm -hmm. chance of getting the flu is a lot less than other people who don't get vaccinated. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those things where if you're proactive about it, then you can also protect the people that are close to you and the community as well. Okay, I was going to ask you a little bit more about that. So how does getting a flu shot, it doesn't just help you, it helps your entire community mm -hmm. at large. Talk to us about that. Absolutely. It's just in a sense that if you get a flu shot, then your chance of getting the flu is lower and thus indirectly you have a less chance of giving it to other people close to you. And there are people who have medical problem, health problem, that getting the flu might be something that really significant to them. And so playing your part in protecting those close around you and the community is also important. Absolutely. Okay. What would you say to someone who, you know, you know, they're a little hesitant about getting the flu shot. They're a little worried about it. What would you say to them? I would say for the most part, the majority of people tolerate the flu vaccine just fine. You might have some side effect, but most often those are minor and will resolve in about a day or two. And none of them are significant for the most part. And so I would say I would encourage people to give it a try. And for the most part, I think most people would tolerate a vaccine just fine. There you go. You don't need to be scared. Okay. <laughs> Optum is a sponsor of the American Heart Association Live Fierce program, which, you know, it's all about taking control of your health. How does getting a flu vaccine fit into all of this? Yeah, it just plays a role in the fact that you're taking control of your immunity and mm -hmm. the fact that you being proactive and trying to tell other people that, hey, I'm trying to do my part to protect myself and the okay. other people around me. Yeah, there's lots of things we can do to stay healthy. Okay, for people over 65, there's a mm -hmm. specific vaccine for them, a specific flu, va flu vaccine. Talk to us about that. Yes, correct. And this is a new recommendation uh, starting about 2022, 2023, up until now, is that you can get a high-dose flu vaccine. Okay. There are three different high-dose flu vaccine that is recommended for people above the age of 65. And it's just in a sense that gives you a better boost and better immunity response, and so thus more likely to protect older people who have a less more a less robust yeah. immunity response there you compared go. to young people. Well, thank you for being here and showing well <laughs> telling us how we can fight the flu. For more information, you can visit the website at the bottom of the screen. Doctor, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.